Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, you know the fuses blowing out uh, for the rear taillights and your basically transmission not shifting out of park. Um, some of the likely causes that these very things actually cause. As you could see, I scribbled on bad on that one. This one, I didn't do nothing to it. And these uh, two, they appear to be okay. But I do want to kind of like point out uh, what, what kind of happens uh, with these things. Uh, normally, what happens, uh, there's a short that happens. And you could clearly see the short is happening right here. Right in this uh, portion right here. Because this um this here was actually touching the metal piece like it wiggled its way in there like it was uh, really close as you've seen it guys because i just actually pressed it right back in there let me see if i could get it back out of there but what happens is guys these things they kind of like go up and down on the road and stuff and uh they wiggle themselves out before you know it this portion is touching that one and then your fu your fuses gets blown your tail lights not working correctly and stuff like that so um you can prevent yourself from buying like one of these by inspecting them however i do recommend replacing them if they're like this or if they're like that i even actually replaced this one even though it's uh, not corroded because look at all this plastics right here it's kind of like it's all brittle it's all breaking off and when these things kind of like wear out and they kind of get rusted and stuff, you really don't want to use them uh, because they're just going to be giving you guys lots of problems. You know, that's why I have these things over here. I also have some uh, newer ones uh, that have a spares. But if you guys want actually to buy them, I'm going to try to look for cheap solutions on Amazon that it's still kind of like good. Like, see, like this is kind of like completely out. But what happens, guys, is that like when... Um, when these things actually um, happen, it's um, it kind of confusing because it looks like a brake light switch, and it can be. Um, and when the brake light switch goes, it's basically located underneath uh, your brake pedal. It's a black little little piece. I don't have it with me right here. When the thing uh, goes, uh, it's like a twenty dollar component. Uh, you can't also shift your shifter and stuff like that. But this will trip it just as well, and you'll be having issues trying to find out like what's going on. Like when I had this happen to me, guys, um, I was searching all over the place and I could not find it, guys. I was changing like lots of lots of stuff. Um, and all it was was just this piece touching uh, but I didn't catch it like uh, like right at the beginning so I ordered myself a new one but then I took a closer inspection after I already removed it and I could clearly see that that's what it is but by that time I already wrote bad on it because I knew it was bad I didn't know why it was bad but that's just what it is and I don't know if these things are bad the plastics appear to be in uh, you know pretty good condition but uh, you know the metals kind of like corroded and stuff like that so you know who knows what kind of problems that these could cause a lot of times it could be here with the connectors as well you could see they're kind of messed up because these are all from older type of splinters like special disconnectors kind of kind of damaged but anyways guys that's that is that um i do cover other uh brake light switch uh, issues on my channel you could find those uh videos as well but uh really never showed this so i decided to kind of show it to you guys so uh please subscribe to my channel uh if you have if you haven't already because i show a lot of different uh, sprinter repair videos now that we got the garage uh ready to go i'm going to be showing you guys how to do a lot of a lot of stuff and a lot of different repairs and stuff like that because now we do have a garage and right now it's actually past uh, midnight and i'm here in my garage because i can be um you know just making these videos for you guys. My name is Serge okay. Zamaleta. I'm 37 years old. And yes, I experienced success after buying my first home for cash. Back in 2011, I was broke, but I learned to solve problems on my own. Now I'm helping others to solve their problems. I know what pitfalls to avoid to stay profitable in business. 
Need motivation to be more successful in your life? Do you have Sprinter expedite their business problems? Then subscribe. Let's find creative solutions to your problems. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my helpful videos.